It's like no other Range Rover we've seen before. This strength and presence that you'd expect to see from a Range Rover. And the, to me, it's almost like, you know, the well-toned exercise body, hard body, being clothed in a beautifully tailored dinner suit. It, you, don't, you don't really see it. You can see there's something there, but it's not obvious. Under Tata's ownership, I think this business has, has flourished because of the recognition of, of the importance of design and, and creativity. We developed the concept that became the LRX concept vehicle. And the reaction was so incredibly positive, it's a case of just deliver it. Don't change it, don't try and design the vehicle by numbers, don't try and design it by attributes. That is the design where we can't just literally take certain engines, certain components and just stack them all up and expect the design to cover all those points. Design and engineering have to work as one together, they need to be mutually compatible. The LRX concept vehicle that started all of this was shown for the first time in Detroit, January 08. The first half of those three and a half years, it was all about the creative side of the business. And then the second half of the three and a half years, is then about the designers working with the team in engineering and in our manufacturing sites. So typically I would send the product specialists who work in the plant who are very knowledgeable about specific assembly aspects and manufacturing aspects of the car and they would go and work with the design team right at the point where they start developing the, the designs and the surfaces of the car and the components to ensure that those designs are able to be assembled within the manufacturing process. And the team in Halewood came up with a scheme that enabled us to reuse equipment that had been available on the site for a previous Jaguar Land Rover model. A real opportunity for the business to demonstrate its investment efficiency with an environmental improvement for the business as well. The good thing about going back to the, the product development team, the design team, is none of the none of the design or the features of the car have changed um, when we've requested you know, a modification to a panel so we can make it easy to fit on the closure line um, and get through to, you know, through to the other areas. None of that has impacted on, on the design of the car whatsoever. It's just been small changes that have made it easier for us to build the car. When we were delivering this car, the, the LRX was always beside the production car. Uh, and for instance, with the clay, you know, you'd actually you check the section of the show car through here, the door section, and you translate that directly onto the production car. So. Nothing was lost in translation. Because it is a Range Rover, we want to make sure that the, the quality and refinement is absolutely 100%. Uh,